An historic run in the world's greatest cup competition has united the town of Wigan. Wigan on, in an FA Cup final is something, you know, it was a fairy tale years ago and now it's a reality. Getting to a cup final is, is an unbelievable achievement, especially with what the cup means in this country. Well, Wigan's never been to the final before, have they? It's put everyone in a feel-good mood and it's where Wigan Athletic deserve to be. If we win that match, this town will erupt. The Wigan Athletic supporters have never, ever been to a cup final and if we can bring that cup back, that will be absolutely historic. It's a fantastic journey every time you have a season uh, with Wigan Athletic, but it's an unbelievable story, certainly. Wheelands Wigan ventured through the Football League under skipper Matt Jackson, who now heads up the club's academy. The defender was instrumental in Everton's FA Cup win in 1995. His experience contrasts with that of the owner. In the final of 1960, Blackburn defender Dave Whelan was forced to leave the field with a broken leg. Down to ten men, his side lost 3-0 to Wolverhampton Wanderers. The fact that I've played at Wembley once in a cup final, won against Manchester United, that's perfect memories, you know, the place is not tainted for me at all. The same cannot be said for the chairman. When you go out at Wembley, and even when I was at the, the semi-final, it's, it's, it's the first time I've been to the new stadium, and just in front of me on the right, where I was sat, is the absolute spot where I broke my leg in the 1960 cup final. The FA have given Wigan permission for me to lead the team out. It finishes my football career with a great, great ending. The last time, you know, he was leaving on a stretcher from his own cup final, uh, an injury that effectively ended his career as well. So uh, his huge frustration has gone on to be a hugely successful man and a massively influential man. Just cannot be underestimated how much he is a part of Wigan. After playing, Whelan built a sports retail empire with his first shop in the heart of the town he loves. I have got some um posters at home that I, I keep meaning to put up of the original shop and the original front and advertisements he had. We, uh, we bump into him in the pub. He's done a lot for Wigan. He's um, really brought Wigan into the spotlight. It's brilliant what he's done. I've got lots of family and friends from Wigan who are, who are going down to Wembley. I'm not going myself because I'm working. Since the 1980s, Wigan has also been Wigan's pie man. His presence is always here. His passion's about the pie, his passion's about uh, the football. The whole of Wigan would be very different without the work that Mr Whelan has put in. He has looked after the Wigan people, you know, he's looked after me. The one thing that you know comes out as an attribute is hard work and honesty, and he should be remembered by this town forevermore, absolutely. A housing estate stands on the site of Springfield Park, home to Wigan where he bought the club in 1995. His first priority was to build the fans a new home. Mr Whelan, you know, put the building blocks in place and without those keystones we wouldn't be where we are today. So it does go back to those days where he started building this vision of Wigan being the top football club. Springfield Park is where I started watching Wigan Athletic um, and never forget those kind of days. It was a dream to play Manchester City then. Now to play Manchester City at Wembley Stadium is it's unbelievable. When I bought Wigan Athletic, I knew that we had to make progress and at the press meeting, one of the lads said, uh, what's your ambition for Wigan, Dave? I said, well, the ambition is simple. We'll get to the Premier League. And there was a little bit of um, mutterings and a little bit of laughing, which you can expect, because when you're in the fourth division, to the Premier League is an awful long way. The chairman's quoted, it's out there, that he said in 10 years we'll be a Premier League club, and he, he achieved it, you know, he made that happen. And the club's gone from strength to strength, and it's, it's hugely exciting. I know what it's taken to get the club to this point, and it's great to be involved in, in trying to keep them where they're at at the moment. Another key component in Whelan and Wigan's story is Roberto Martinez, first as a player. And now, <laughs> well, Roberto was the first Spanish footballer to ever take part in an FA Cup because he played for Wigan when we played at Runcorn mm, 25 years ago, 24 years ago. He's incredibly calm and I think that's to the strength of the football club. The players take a great strength from that themselves. They know that in any given pressure situation, he's always performed and delivered for the club and that allows them to do that as well. I know I'll lose him in the end because he's such a great manager. I know we will lose him to one of the big European clubs, but I would never stand in Roberto's way. Uh, he's so honest 
with me and with the club and the people of Wigan actually, they love and worship Roberto. Wigan's Cup Run has inspired the locals to write a song that they performed for their benefactor at his most recent investment in the community, a fully equipped sports and culture facility for the next generation. He's, he's done a magnificent job with Wigan football, especially with this place as well. There was nothing like this when I was a kid, so for what, what it's going to cost them to come and the enjoyment they're going to get out of it, you, you can't beat it. Another example of Whelan playing to win. I think it's a magnificent occasion for Wiganers. Me and my family are going down, the little daughter's going 11 year old. We got the tickets uh, a couple of days ago, and that's all she thinks about. She can't wait for the day. It would be a famous double, staying up and winning the cup. The FA Cup is the achievable dream and it would just be amazing, unbelievable. It's going to be a tough challenge, a different challenge to what they face in the semi-final with Millwall certainly, but of course they're capable of it, absolutely. Manchester City are just another team that we've got to go and face. Yeah, they're full of world superstars, but do they have the passion and desire that runs through Wigan Athletic? People don't really know how tough it is you know, to deal with the environment that we have here, to be competitive with the big boys in the Premier League is really, really difficult. But these moments of achievement certainly dictate that it's, it's been a fantastic journey. And we've proved to all clubs in England that wherever you are, whatever you do, if you've got ambitions and the will, it can be done.